So five, the marks in an English test in school are normally distributed with a mean and a variance. So it's not given what is the mean and variance. 10% of the people in that school score more than 75 marks. So probability of getting larger than 75 is 10% or 0 0.1. And here another probability of here. 25% of the people score less than 40 marks. So, x lower than 40 is equal to 0 0.25. Find the value of mean and variance. So, here we know that 0 0.1 and 0 0.25. So, for the first one, you see here we have normal distribution graph. So, if you want to find the value, we, have, we can use z score where we have to change to z score. So, this one you see here. This one is 0 0.1 and this one is larger and 0 0.1. So we see here larger and 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 means only at one side because less than 0 0.5, one side. So this one is 0 0.5, this one is 0 0.5. So we know larger, the value which is larger, which is larger uh, and we get 0 0.1. So larger and 0 0.1, it must be at this side. So this is the value of this is the value of, okay, this one is the z. So, this is the area. So, we see here, we can find what is 0 0.1 from the table. So, here probability z is larger than, so before that, z is larger, is equal to x minus mean divided by standard deviation. So, we just put k first, x larger than k is equal to 0 0.1. So, here we can find what is our k. So, 0 0.1 from our table. So, here we have to find what is our, where is our 0 0.1. So, we see here 0 0.1. So, we see the value is going down. So, 0 0.1. You see here, this one is 0 0.9, 0 0.9, right? So, 0 0.1 is here. We take value which is a bit larger so that we can minus. This one is already smaller than 0 0.1. So, we cannot even minus to get 0 0.1, right? So, 0 0.1003 0 0 minus 0 0.1, we get 0 0.0003. This one, we know that for decimal places, so we have to find 3. So, we see here, we have 2 and 4, right? So, 3 is in the midpoint, where you see here, it's between 1 and 2, so it is 1, 5. So, here we bring it to the left, straight, straight line, we get 1.2, right? So, this one is 1.2. So, here, this one is 8. And this one is 1, 5. So, 1.2815. So, here we get 1.2815. 1.2815. So, this one. Now, we get the value of Z. So, we know that this is the formula, right? So, here Z is 1.2815 is equal to our X is 75 minus our mean. We don't know what is our mean. And then our standard deviation, we also don't know. So, this one times this one, we get 1.2815 is equal to 75 minus mean. So, this one, don't forget, standard deviation. So, 1.2815 standard deviation plus mean is equal to 75. So, this one, 1.2815 standard deviation plus mean is equal to 75. This is the first one. Okay, done. So, here we see smaller and 0 0.25. So, again, this one. So, we know that it should be smaller and 0 0.25 is smaller than 0 0.5. This one, this area is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. It should be smaller and you see here less than 0 0.5. So, the one which it can be smaller and less than 0 0.5 is this area. So, we know that the value of Z is negative. But to use table, the value z must be larger than 0. So, it's supposed to be here. We know it is symmetrical. So, k is here. So, if we can find this one, probability z is larger than k. So, we know that we can get this one. So, here, this area and this area is the same. Right? So, this one is equal to 0 0.25. So, we can find this one from table 0 0.25.
so here is 0 0.25 so you see here is 0 0.25 so you have this one 2483 no so this one so 0 0.25 2514 minus 0 0.25 this one we wanted here we have 0 0.0014 so this one for the decimal place right so we wanted to find where is our 14 so you see here 14 is in between 13 and 16 but then obviously it's nearer to 13 so we are going to take this value so here bring it to the left we get 0 0.6 0 0.6 so this one is 7 and this one is 4 so we get 0 0.674 so here we get 0 0.674 but the one we are talking about is negative k so k here is equal to negative 0 0.674 So he, this is the value of z. So now we have our z. So our z is negative 0 0.674 is equal to. So our x is 40 minus our mean is not given. So we have to find, forget. So this one, so we bring to this side negative 0 0.674 standard deviation is equal to 40 minus mean. So if we bring at one side, so mean we bring it to the left. So I want to arrange it like this. So I have negative 0 0.674 mean plus standard deviation plus mean is equal to 40. So this is the second one. So here negative 0 0.674 standard deviation plus mean is equal to 40. This one is the second one. So here we have 1.2815 standard deviation plus mean is equal to 75. Negative 0 0.674 standard deviation plus mean is equal to 40. So you can do simultaneous equation. As we can see, we can eliminate mean if we minus the equation. So this one minus minus become positive. So here we get 1.2815 standard deviation plus 0 0.674 standard deviation is equal to 75 minus 40 we get 35. So 1.2815. One point nine five six one standard deviation is equal to thirty five. So standard deviation is equal to thirty five divided by one point nine five six one. So here we get seventeen point eight nine two. Okay. So when we have this one, we can find our mean. So you can use any of this one. I wanted to use this one because this one is negative, right? So mean is equal to 40 plus 0 0.674 standard deviation which is equal to 40 plus 0 0.674 standard deviation is 17.892. So here we get 17.892. We get 52.06. Okay. So here, if you check your textbook, you get 52.07, right? So this one and this one is approximate. So it's, it is acceptable. Sometimes the answer is a bit different because like when you calculate, depending on the significant figure that you choose. So in the answer, it takes 17.89. So you see here 40 plus 0. 674 times 17.89 you are going to get 52.07 but this one and this one is actually acceptable because as long as you're working